I'm John McLean. Should have retired at the age of 60, 65, or be 80 next year. I, I meant to get into woodworking a lot earlier than I have, but at 80, I'm too young to retire. I'm, a, I'm still in general practice. <laughs> so I haven't got around to retiring into woodworking. But I have the same time constraints as a professional. I also have four children and nine grandchildren, so if I make anything, I've got to do nine of them. So time is essential. So, so yes, I love using hand tools, but I'm not wedded to them. If, if I've got to make nine boxes, I'll enjoy the dovetailing and, and the fine jointing, but I have no hang up about using a machine to save myself maybe two or three days work at the rate at which I hand plane. I've been a wood torturer since a teenager, crude carpentry, and I hadn't a clue how crude it was until I fell under the spell of people like David Charlesworth, Peter Sefton, John Lloyd, um, and of course my hero, David Barron. All of them had great things to say about Felder. So I, I did fall uh, for Felder, A, because my heroes used Felder. So I thought they must know a thing or three. And also because the kindness I've had from Russell and people like that who understood my, my crass ignorance of, of woodworking and weren't hard sellers. The engineers who delivered were the, were the epitome of kindness and took me through some of the really basic things that an amateur wouldn't know. So without the Felder engineers who, who set me up, I'd have been stuck. First thing I bought was a table saw, then a band saw, and then a planer thicknesser. And I thought the spiral planer thicknesser was not a luxury, it was just a lazy man's way of planing. I just couldn't live without. It's just transformed the way that uh, I can produce batches of wood that are flat and at 90 degrees to all the faces. So that's one of the biggest joys I've got. The other thing is, is the ability to use my table saw to cut wany edges so I save a fortune on being able to buy rough wood. And after this gone through the thicknesser, I've got very expensive wood. And the thrill of that is wonderful. <laughs> And that's the joy of woodworking. You concentrate intensely, the stresses are enormous as a GP, and you need something that is the complete antithesis of that, and that's woodworking. You concentrate fiercely and the cares of the world go.